As part of its response to the COVID-19 pandemic, the government has introduced the Coronavirus Job Retention Scheme. This scheme allows all UK employers with a PAYE scheme to designate their employees as furloughed workers. This applies where the employer's operations have been severely affected by coronavirus and provides employers with access to support in paying part of their employees' salaries. The government are currently updating the details of the furlough scheme on a weekly basis, but here are the answers to some key questions you may have. What does furlough mean? Furlough describes a new type of leave which keeps employees on the payroll without them working. As the furloughed staff are kept on the payroll, this is different to them being laid off without pay or being made redundant. What happens while employees are furloughed? People who get furloughed must not work for the employer during the period of furlough. They will receive 80% of their wages from HMRC, up to a cap of £2,500 per month. They will usually return to their job afterwards, unless redundancies follow. Which employees can be furloughed? Employers can furlough the employees who are on the employer's payroll on or before 19th of March 2020. Importantly, a real-time information submission, that's an RTI submission, notifying payment in respect of the employee must have been made on or before the 19th of March. Employees that were employed as of the 28th of February and on the payroll, that means notified to HMRC on an RTI submission, and were made redundant or stopped working for the employer between the 28th of February and the 19th of March, can still qualify for the scheme. For the employees falling into that 19-day category, the employer would have to rehire them and enter into a furlough agreement. All employees have to agree in writing to cease working and to being furloughed. Casual workers and special categories. The scheme aims to support all those employed through the PAYE system on the relevant date. So casual workers and zero-hours contract workers who are paid through the PAYE system, albeit with variable hours, would still be covered. However, if the casual workers are self-employed and not on the PAYE system on the relevant dates, then the scheme does not apply to them. An equivalent self-employed income support scheme is available for those whose business has been adversely affected by coronavirus. This applies to those with trading profits of less than £50,000 and who submitted a self-assessment tax return for the tax year 2018 to 2019. Other special categories of employees include those who are shielding, employees who are unable to work because they are shielding in line with public health guidance or live with someone who is shielding, can be furloughed. Which employers can access the coronavirus job retention scheme? Any employer in the country is eligible for the scheme. This includes public and private employers, including local authorities and charities. The government expects that the scheme will not be used by many public sector organisations, as most public sector employees will continue working. Some non-public sector employers who receive some public funding for staff costs are expected to continue to pay staff while that funding is continuing and should not furlough them. However, a small number of non-public sector employers who normally receive public funding may still be able to furlough staff. How do employers access the scheme? Employers access it through an online portal which has been set up by HMRC. Employers need to make their claim shortly before or during their running of the payroll and must claim for all employees in each period together. The guidance states employers cannot make changes to their claim. Employers have to work out their own claim by using the online calculator 
or manually with the help of the calculation guidance or by relying on advisors. Guidance on the elements of pay that can be claimed and other aspects, including tax and national insurance contributions and more information, are available on the government's business support website. This also outlines other support measures available for businesses during the pandemic. You can also find information on the CIPD website. <laughs>